Welcome back, everyone. My name is Altamore, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of our good campaign of Wrath of the Righteous, where we left off last time. We got ourselves a pretty evil but also awesome sword. And now there's uh, some other little fights we're going to have to do. We're going to finally reach the village, I believe. We're not going to steal the whip from this particular specter because I don't we want do to start that way. fight yet. I don't want to start the Spectre Encounters with this group just at the moment. Eventually we'll get to it. We should clear the area first. It's very annoying when you have to fight the Spectre alongside other enemies. It just kind of makes it a pain in the ass. So, What is that? Is that a puddle? Kind of looks like sludge or something. It's hard to... I don't know what that is. Anyways, let's continue on. That's a zone transition to get out of the map. There is seemingly nothing up here. Looks like a storm's on the way in because of the, you know, really windy environment here. Uh, there should be two demons here. Morbid Gibraltar. Don't hold back. Are either of you guys diseased yet? No. And... No. Okay, that one's dead. Everyone kill that one. These are truly horrifying looking creatures though. Look at them. Their weird eyes and stuff. Uh, we have a knowledge world check to do here. And it says... A success worthy of he who is not curious will never know what it is to be truly alive. Now this group's going to get ahead of the other group in terms of story is stuff for this region. But we're going to have to come back and do all of the Spectre fights, so it's not really going to be ahead. Be ready for the worst. Also, I'm not entirely convinced Lan is a better cleric than uh, Sozeal. In some regards, he definitely is. In some, he's really not. The somber scarred warrior guarding the gates to the settlement almost chokes when he sees you. Stop. Stop, you monster. You have some nerve just showing up beside the walls of Winter Sun like this. Why are you glaring at me? Do you think you can avoid the wrath of the Lady of the Sun? Is that how guests are welcome in Winter Sun now? I remember you used to be... Famed as a most hospitable clan. People used to say visitors in Winter Sun and never leave empty handed. What happened? There may be a war going on, but the spirits won't praise you for turning feral on folk. I found bodies of murdered crusaders at a shrine not far from here. What do you have to say about that? I say you're a lying piece of abyss scum, and I'm gonna make you pay for it right now. The warrior reaches for his blade, and his partner does the same. Stop, children of Winter Sun. The voice is soft and stirring. It's coming from a statue. Adorning the gates. Do not raise your weapons. Let them pass. This creature is my guest. I shall keep an eye on her. None can harm the children of Winter Sun within my domain. The warrior's face hardens. What? Let this monster into our village? When we're the last place standing against the demons that now the Dresden has fallen? You heard the Lady of the Sun dim it. Let her pass. What's this demon going to do to us anyways? The Lady of the Sun has protected us all these years. And no abomination from the abyss has ever captured Winter Sun. And it's not going to happen today either. The second guard squints at you grimly. Suddenly you hear a crash and screams from somewhere behind the buildings. Then comes a call of warriors to me. Both guards throw a final steely look at you before leaving their post and running towards the commotion. Only the wooden idol now remains to watch over the settlement's outskirts. This place is very weird. I'm going to steal their cheese. I'm gone. Because that's what heroes do. They steal people's cheese. And we'll just kind of go over here really quickly, glance around, steal some more eggs and milk. Because, yeah, I guess that's what we're doing now. No crowding here, good neighbors, no crowding. A babao demon holding a pretty flower basket flashes a predatory grin. Poor Dar is not himself. He lost his family in Dresden and has been drowning his grief in wine for a few days. He always picks fights when he's drunk, and you know what a stone mason's fists are like. He killed the boy cry sorry he's killed the boy cry voices from the crowd make way neighbor we'll put it put him in a cellar to sleep it off sila her eyes flashing reaches for her weapon this is going to turn ugly we need to get the people back to their houses while we deal with the balor the babao turns around and hisses at the culprit a huge balor at whose feet a young barbarian is lying covered in blood i'm so tired of you neighbor dar go home stop ruining the fun for the rest of us 
What is he doing? Hitting the poor flower girl. Dar, wake up. The Lady of the Sun won't like things, or won't have things like this in winter, son. A little tiny dragonling. What the demon is going on here? A tall warrior with dark hair and gray eyes stands between the humans and the roaring Balor. He looks the fiend right in the eye. Are you forgetting where you are? These lands are protected by the Lady of the Sun. Behave or I, Marhavaka Grunhold, will throw you out of my town. The Balor's laughter is booming. You really think your beloved beauty can do anything to me? If I wanted to, I could break her neck and yours, and your little worms and the necks of every puny little human in the district. And then I'll pay a visit to the castle in the clouds and clear out every sunny little follower. I'm sick of this game anyway. I'm leaving. For now. Go about your business now. There's nothing to gawp at. The warrior bends down and picks up several of the flowers from the basket belonging to the Babao. He notices you, and his expression hardens infinitesimally. Ah, guest of my lady. I'm the chieftain of the Winter Sun clan. You can take a look around if you wish, but you must visit me in the clan hall. It would be rude of you not to pay a proper visit to the master while you're in his house. I came here to find out who killed my crusaders. Their bodies are now lying at a shrine by the lake. Marhavak frowns. The Lady's Shrine is sacred to all the children of Wintersun. If somebody has desecrated it with murder, they will be punished. I accept your invitation, Master. Very well, I will be expecting you. Marhavak nods and walks off, tension radiating from him with every step. Follow if you dare. We're gonna follow him. He just apparently vanishes into thin air, though, so that's kind of impressive. Let me tend to your wounds, brave warrior. You say you were guarding Dresden when the demons came. I think they're calling us the demons. We are the demon crusaders. Something weird's going on in this town. I'm off. I'm sort of confused as to what's... A Gesmira. A woman with a wealth of long dark hair stands by the statue, carefully touching the wood. Her long fingers slide along the smooth surface, searching for cracks and scratches. As you approach, the woman startles, tossing her head back, and you see... Her eye sockets are empty and scabbed over like old scars. Who's there? A stranger? I don't recognize your footsteps. I'm the Knight Commander of the Crusaders. I've come from Dresden looking for my missing people. A visitor from the outside and a crusader too. The woman exclaims enthusiastically, but then she seems to falter, quirking her head like she's trying to listen to something. Her fingers tremble nervously. What do you want to talk to me about? There's something strange going on in Wintersun. Your fellow villagers call me a monster while they themselves converse with demons like it's nothing. Demons within these walls? That's not possible. The Lady of the Sun promised to protect us. Besides, the settlement has old rune stones that start to flicker when demons approach. Even if the monsters had tricked us somehow by disguising themselves, the stones would have warned us about the danger, and my people wouldn't be caught dead chatting to our sworn enemies. Gizmira frowns, as though puzzling something out. Who are you? What happened to your eyes? My name is Gizmira. I was a senior wood shaper in Winter Sun, a woodcarver, or sculptor as you would call it. My level of skill is not bestowed on everyone. We wood shippers do not consider wood to be just a material. We do not make something out of it. We give the wood a new birth. We reveal its beauty in a new form. I come from an ancient line of craftsmen and women. I swear that I have done everything to avoid bringing shame to my ancestors' memory. I strove to preserve its beauty even in the midst of chaos, which is what the demons had turned Sarkoris into, aided by the traitor Arilu. But one day my gift failed me. At the request of Marhavak, our clan chief, I was tasked with carving a stone or statue of the Lady of the Sun, but no matter how hard I tried, instead of a beautiful elf, my chisel again and again revealed a hideous monster in the wood. Marhavak flew into a rage when he saw my work, Gazmira says, her voice quieter now. He personally cut out my eyes as punishment, and journeymen were given the task of finishing the statue. The clan did not turn its back on me, of course. The children of Winterson do not drive out their own, even those who have transgressed before the entire community. They allow me to do simple carvings and to take care of statues. That's how I've lived since that day. That Marhavak of yours, he's a nasty piece of work, isn't he? Robbing an artist of her sight? That's not just brutal, it's foul. Some murders are less depraved than that. Tell me about the settlement. This place was once a vast, was once the capital of the Winter Sun clan. Yes, the capital. In the glory days of old, Sarkoris, the clan controlled vast swaths of land with several settlements and many farmsteads. But when that accursed Orilu opened the world wound, the clan began to wither like a sapling that's been chopped off at the roots. Then the world wound opened even wider and the blight reached these lands. The children of Winter Sun either died defending their homes or left in search of a better life somewhere else. In the end, all that was left was this one settlement. Only the toughest, most stubborn people were left, the ones who were prepared to survive and defend their land to the last breath. But even they would have perished if not for the Lady of the Sun. 
Since she came here, demons haven't dared to attack Winter Sun. Life is hard here. The soil is weak and the animals hunt to hunt few and far between, but it is our home. If we leave our homes and we stop singing our songs, the memory of Sarkoris will die too. A small settlement, surrounded by demons crumbling but not yet broken, a place where dark deeds are happening. It all seems so familiar. Something tells me that Winter Sun has had its own traitorous Wendwog too. Tell me about the Lady of the Sun. Marhavok, the leader of the Winter Sun clan, met her on a hunt many years ago when he was a young man. People say it was love at first sight, and the Lady of the Sun left her magical castle in the clouds to live with Marhavok in a humble hut. The Lady of the Sun is a powerful sorceress. She gave Marhavok his hunting dragon and has protected Winter Sun against the demons all these years. Ever since she came here, not a single demon has attacked this place. Magic users were feared in Sarkoris in the old days, and for good reason. If you remember that cursed witch who brought all these calamities down on us, but we trusted the Lady of the Sun and accepted her as her protector, although it was not an easy decision. But looking for missing crusaders, I found their bodies at the Shrine of the Lady of the Sun. Bodies at the Shrine? That's very strange. The Children of Winter Sun are no enemies of the Crusaders, and no one would dare sully the Lady of the Sun Shrine with the blood of allies. Marhavok always keeps the Shrine adorned with flowers for the Lady, along with his trophies, slain demons. Demons? You're saying he leaves dead demons? What madness is this? But at least we know now who's responsible for the bodies in the Shrine. Sila's eyes are ablaze. The woman is silent for a while, gathering her thoughts. Listen, stranger, there's something odd happening in Winter Sun, it's true. The Lady of the Sun promised us protection, and demons truly have never attacked the settlement. But there are visitors that come here from the outside. They, often, they come often, then they look like crusaders, merchants from Mendev, scholars from Absalom, or kin of Our Lady from her castle in the clouds. Some of them even live here long term, and every single one of them acts strangely. They talk to us like there's some great joke and we're not in on it. And sometimes there are rougher types who do something wild. I've tried broaching the subject with people I trust, but they either don't believe me or are too afraid to speak openly. Marhavak does not permit any doubts about him or the Lady of the Sun or her guests, and there's something else. Grief wells up in the woman's voice. Every few years, someone in the village goes mad. It's usually one of the guards or hunters who go out in forays to kill demons. They either start weeping, begging for forgiveness, or they attack their neighbors. The clan doesn't turn his back on its children. That's why these mad people are only put outside the settlement walls. But everyone now believes they're beyond helping. They are mad and angry at the entire world. A secret horror nods in the soul of Winter Sun, but I can't see or find out what it is, and I don't know how to help you solve it, friend. All I can give you is this piece of advice. Check out our rune stones. They should warn us about the demons in the vicinity, and if they're not doing that, then there's some evil at work here. If you want answers quickly, go straight to Marhavak. He's the one person who has been to the castle in the clouds, and he even had a key to it hidden somewhere. He knows more than anyone else, but watch yourself. Marhavak is a mighty warrior, quick to anger and ruthless, and the limits of the Lady of the Sun's powers are not are entirely unknown. Thank you. Farewell. So I'm guessing that uh, the Lady is perhaps some sort of succubus or de like a like a greater I demon of some sort. I'm not entirely sure yet, though. Knowledge can check. It went splendidly. This runestone is a fake. It has no power to detect demons. Text and Halit, wind uproots a single tree, but dies down in a thicket, stands shoulder to shoulder with your clansmen like trees in a forest. Let's go pick the lock. There are a couple peasants here. I'm glad I was useful to yeah, you. Some more potions and stuff. Unsounded alarm. The rune stones show no reaction to Arushale's presence. That's true, we do a demon in our group. Tell me about the rune stones again. There are three of them in total, and they're all in the village. They were erected by the great shaman Sawan of the Wise a century ago. The year the world wound opened, they start to flicker when the demons are near. But as far as I can remember, the stones have never raised an alarm. Demons have never come near the village thanks to the Lady of the Sun's protection. At least that's what everyone thinks. If you firmly believe that, you saw demons within the walls of Winter Sun, find out why the stones are not giving their promised warning. Well, let's go take a look around some more. we got to find more of the stones. Uh, that's a standing stone. I don't know if that one counts. A success worthy of Text and Halid, rely on your own strength, on your cunning, on your true arrow, on your sharp blade, only the aid of the spirits, on the vows of the priests, but never rely on divination. I mean, divination seems to be an important thing here. That may be a rune stone, but there's also something to loot here. I finished here. Is there more? A gilded horn. Uh, this is a pretty high knowledge arcana check. 
Let's try it out. It went splendidly. The rune stone is a fake. It has no power to detect demons. Lots of saving in case something terrible happens. You never know how it's going to go in this game. Um, we gotta find the last rune stone. We're up on top of a hill. I guess we get to come up the other way too. Okay, so we found two rune stones. One was here. Maybe there's one down in the main village itself. Let's head back down. Looking for rune stones. Possibly over here. Nope. We do it my way. Possibly over here. Where are you at, runestone? I guess it could be on the other side of the hut too. Although that doesn't seem like it would be. It's, there's not a lot of room there. Oh, there's a runestone right there. Okay. Follow if you did. Saving, just in case. Success, the runestone is a fake. It has no power to detect demons. So now we know. I wonder if we can talk to her again about that. I think that's where we go to talk to the chieftain. Let's talk to Gizmir again. Okay. I guess we can't. We're going to rest, though. We definitely need a quick rest. Uh, I'm going to check his spells again. Because he got new spells. What do we want? Breath of Life, probably. At least one of those. We already have Burst of Glory. I guess I could get just two Breath of Lifes. In all honesty, that might be the best choice for us. In case people die. Uh, she's not a spell per day. She is a spell per day, but she doesn't have... She has one extra spell. Cool. Let's grab... Let's grab... something. <laughs> I could grab something like Cat's Grace. It's a decent buff. Does she have any other spells? No. Um, grab a Heroism Greater. I'll grab a couple of those, actually. I'll grab one Hellfire Ray just for the heck of it. Maybe I'll grab one more Heroism Greater. It's such a useful spell. Um, less useful spells here. I guess we'll just grab another Summon Monster. Good enough. Oh, hey, we get a new Paladin spell. A level 2 spell. Let's grab... Aura of Greater Courage. That's a good spell. Whenever you cast a spell, you strengthen your Paladin's Aura of Courage until the end of the action. All allies that Aura are immune to fear. If you don't have the Aura, uh, it has no effect. We do have Aura of Courage, right? Maybe we don't have it yet. Hang on. Let's take a quick look at our Paladin abilities. She's just a normal Paladin, right? Aura of Resolve. Mounted Combat. Mercy. Aura of Courage, yeah. Okay. At third level, Paladins immune to fear, and all allies within 10 feet gain plus 4 morale bonus um, against fear. Yeah, so we definitely have Aura of Courage. Okay, good. Greater Aura of Courage is pretty awesome, and we're going to take that. Does she have any other spells? No. Oh, our, we didn't level up our pet. And we'll probably have to level up our other pet as well.
I should give him three mobility. Now that I think about this a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's rest up. Get our other pet back. We're getting very close to that corruption level, but I think we'll still be okay to get back to Dresden. Maybe. Very close. We may go over that one corruption level at some point. But our other dog is alive now. That's important. Level up. Ah, he's going to get intelligence, so I can get out flank with him. I think I took free intelligence with the other one. Yeah. And does he already have outflank? He does. So we need outflank with him. When he can get it. Okay. So we found out there's weird stuff happening here. There's nothing else we can really do in this area. I do what I must. So let's go inside the clan hall. I mean, paladins used to have detect evil just constantly on. It was like a flashlight of detect evil. It made campaigns really boring if you had a paladin. Be like, you'd have a bad guy who was evil, and the paladin would just be like, detect evil. Oh, they're evil. Okay. The mighty Morvok sits on a dais covered in pelts. In one enormous hand, he's holding a single flower, and his face wears a grim expression. Sarkorian Ranger Chief, we brought the traitor. A tall female warrior drags a stumbling woman with empty eye sockets into the hall. We have several witnesses who say she was slandering the Lady of the Sun and her guests, and that she even urged her neighbors to spy on them. Hand me the axe, Maravok's voice is grim. I've been very patient with you, Gezmira. You dared to dishonor the Lady of the Sun, our happiness and protection. You didn't repent, you only nursed your malice in secret. I see now that taking your eyes was not enough. This time I will take your hands. What are you doing here, you blackguard? Raising your hand against innocence? You've earned the ancestor's wrath for sure. It's a bad thing to raise your fist against the clan elder, but I really wanted to smack you one. These nice people are afraid, so much fear, but they're not fighting against the ones who frightened them. They're punishing the weak and defenseless for their fear, just like always. Just like always. Just like always. Her voice oops, drops to bar a barely discernible whisper. Lands already off-footed face becomes even more fearsome. Don't be afraid, Ember. If anyone's going to be hurt, it'll only be the bad guys. But can't we make sure that nobody's hurt, or at least that nobody dies, please? Heaven knows that I will believe in forgiveness and redemption, but I so dearly want to kill that man. And I won't even regret it. Alara, are, are we really going to watch this atrocity happen? Is this how justice is always dispensed in Winter Sun? You feel the weight of Marhavok's gaze on you. Ah, oh, there you are, stranger. It's good you came. Saves me from chasing after you all around after you all around Winter Sun. Here in this hall is a place of power for me and my lady. I will kill you here, and then go with my people to Dresden and hand it over to its rightful masters. Warriors of Winter Sun, attack! Oh boy. Do I not have the buffs ready for this fight? We did not even get close to casting any of the spells we need for this fight. We can't go outside. Okay, so we're going to jump back outside. Right, we're going to quickly... I guess we don't have to jump back outside outside. We're going to come back to this... Uh, before the event happens and do some buffing because we desperately need some spells before we go into this fight all right so let's do My it skills are absolute. we have so many things to cast uh i guess I'm we'll start with the, the you know the normal ones the so blur. Never cease. doubt is the heart's this greatest challenge Thought she had blur. Oh well. You are my favorite axe. Yes. Oh no, she had mage armor, right? Oh well, whatever. Blur. I guess we can do other spells while we're waiting here. Let's grab one of those. You require my unbiased opinion. You're already casting a spell. Allow me. You cast that one. You cast that one. Is restless. I wonder why. And you cast that one. Are we ready to move out? Okay, I'll next round of spells. Of Blessing of life and we courage. Win this war. Aura of greater Any courage. Hair? Blur on Sila. I will prove my worth. Hunter's thing. 
Meditate on your mistakes. Might make you feel better. Communal protection from evil. Only lasts one minute. Never mind. We'll wait for that one before till the end. So weird that the last such a, last such a very short amount of time. We'll gather up before we do burst of glory or breath. Yeah, breath of glory. Sorry. We also do have our community uh, ability Trust hearth, guarded hearth. She has heroism. Does she have greater heroism? She does. Let's start doing that. Mage armor's on that one. And we have greater here. What? Is, how much is this? One minute per level. Okay, good. So it lasts a while. We should move. She's good. Yes. Let's get mage armor on our other dog. We have blur on Sila, which is a good. Future awaits us. Magic fangs yes. need to go out. Yes. You're a good person. And I'll we'll get heroism you. on Rishle. And I guess probably the dogs as well. And then I think we can pretty much just do protection from evil, displacement and haste, and we're good to go. All right, Lan. Always be ready for the worst. Do your protection from alignment. Huh? And you oh, will do yes, displacement. I'm always ready. That did not work. I'm always open to ideas. There we go. Hmm? Um. Did I do this spell? Kate, that's casting, and this then she needs end. to. Here was Muslim. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm never wrong. That and haste. You require my unbiased opinion? Uh, Alright. We are super buffed up. We should have no problem with this fight, in theory. Blah blah blah. I can for sure tell you that I'm going to pulverize all these demons into paste. The dragon might be bad. We probably should have put her put protection from elements on. But I'm not overly concerned. Hold back. We could do the guarded hearth. You know what? This seems to be like the big fight of this area, right? It's got Maravok. It's got all the big things. Let's put guarded hearth up. You have to move up. Because I need it to be like right. Just move up. You guys are fine back there, right? Sure. Go fight him. This is not going well for their group. Okay. Let's get these three to shoot the rangers. He has a lot of mirror image spells. I don't think Guarded Earth went off, but that's fine. Why are my people changing targets? Shoot that guy. He's dead. That was fun. My lady, don't leave me. Don't leave me. I guess we're going straight in to fight him again, because we we don't want to waste all these buffs. We spent so much time putting them all on. Saving right here. We'll come back for the loot. Uh, the dragon has loot, though. Amulet of Mighty Fist plus two, and a... Really nothing of value. We'll just get a haste back on. Here. Can't be that bad. Is there I'm gone. All right, there's not a whole lot of buffs we need to be paying attention too much to, so let's just get in here. I kind of want to get the loot just in case it doesn't let us come back here. I'm glad I was useful to you. What are those? Bracers of Dominance. Whenever the wearer of these bracers confirm a critical hit with a two-handed weapon, the enemy must pass a will save DC 24 or be unable to attack. It's actually a pretty decent uh, 
weapon. Or, uh, paraphrasers, I should say. There's straight up a giant pile of ice here. With bones. It's not a great sign for us. We Secret passage. I know we're at half an hour. Oh, he fled so far. I mean, I guess we just kind of go up ahead. It's not that far. Should we go haste and get in there? Yeah, probably. Ready to move out? Haste first. And mirror My image. Skills. Ah. It's time to first. act. Go. The wounded Maravok is shivering as if from fear or fever. He tries to take the human skull from the plinth in front of the Lady of the Sun statue, but his weakened grip spasms, and the skull rolls towards you, stopping at your feet. The warrior watches it with stricken eyes, muttering key before turning to the statue. My lady, my love, forgive me, I failed you, I lost. Didn't even keep the key safe after you gave it to me. Come protect our winter sun, but if you can't, take me away. Take me to your castle in the clouds. Marvok's prayer does not go unanswered. A shadow, unnaturally narrow and trembling, separates from the Lady of the Sun statue and floats above the floor. A delicate hand, or maybe claw, reaches out and touches the slumped head of the dying warrior with a soft, almost tender gesture. And then you hear an airy, otherworldly voice directly in your mind. Why are you mortals so fond of breaking other people's toys? So you're the rot that's festering in Winter Sun. You're a despicable beast, and you don't deserve any other name. My kinsmen, my neighbors have suffered because of you. Death would be too light a punishment for you, scum. You don't seem to be afraid at all, monster. What's to stop me from killing you here and now? Maravok's shoulders convulse. He struggles in vain to stand and shield the insect-like shadow from you. I'll fly off to my sanctum faster than you can blink. Besides, are you ready to doom all of Winter Sun to a horrible fate? Asks the sly voice in your head. You probably want to open the poor barbarian's eyes to the truth. You can't do that without my help. Even if you do, by some miracle, find a way to do it, the children of Winter Sun will have to live with the knowledge of what they've done all these years. They'll recall every murdered crusader and traveler that they plunged their spears into or burned on a ritual pyre. Many of them will not survive the truth you will inflict upon them. The rest will be cut down by demons, for I am the only one protecting them from such a fate even now. But I have a better solution. I will change the clan so that from this day forth they will see the true mortals and demons alike as human. I'll make them believe that the Crusaders have won a final, resounding victory, that peace now reigns in the world wound, and that all the demons have been driven back into the abyss. Every last one, Winter Sun will remain a peaceful oasis in the midst of chaos, neutral territory where neither Crusaders nor demons will cross swords in battle. I will get to keep my wondrous domain, and your Crusaders will never perish here again. What do you say to that, Commander? We are not going to stand with that. I will not make a deal and deal with a demon, and I will not leave the people of Winter Sun under your control. Jerabeth hesitates. The demon's flat, insight visage is difficult to read, but her quivering mouth betrays ex her extreme tension. At last, a phrase rings in your mind. All right, I'll do as you say. Outside, a clamor starts to swell. One, two, a dozen voices cry out in astonishment, then horror. No, not me, please, rasps Marhavok, struggling to lift his head off the floor, gathering his strength. He barks out more clearly. I don't need the truth. I don't want to lose you, my lady. I knew. A crazed smile warps the warrior's face. I guessed a long time ago that you weren't who you seemed to be, but you brought peace to my people and me, and I kept your secret as best I could. I stamped out any suspicions and the people who voiced them. Sometimes I want to live in your light. I don't want to be without you. Arushle turns pale and covers her mouth with her hand. Her ruby eyes are filled with undisguised horror. You cannot read the emotions on the creature's horrifying face, half hidden by shadows. If it answers Moravok, it does it wordlessly, directly into his mind. After a moment of silence, you hear a voice in your head give him to me. No, he will die here and now. <laughs> the creature is silent for a time, gazing at the dead warrior. I will remember this, Commander. I am returning to the Ivory Sanctum, the castle in the clouds as they call it here. You have the key to my home, but will you find out how to use it? I'll be expecting your visit. Jerba's shadow disappears into the portal, and her departure spells an end to an era of life of Winter Sun. Gazmira, the carver, is standing, cowering against the wall. She's gone? I can feel it. I feel like something's changed. I'll tell the people what you did for us, Commander. Oh, don't do that. They're all going to be dead, so I'd rather not tell them. What are those? He's got two hand axes. Frost Embrace, plus three Icy Burst, and Frost, and Fixed Obsession, plus three Keen. And Strength? What's the Strength Enhancement? I'm confused. 
Oh, it's a throwing axe, but it's not a bow. I'm sort of confused as to what that does, but fine. Let's go back to the village really quick, and then we'll end the video. We may have to kill some demons on the way out. I kind of expected that fight to be harder, and I expected to have more fights. I'm still not sure what to do with that situation there. The blind carver tosses her head back and gives a silent bow. I recognize the sound of your footsteps, Commander. My woodshipping skills are not what they were, but my hands remember what my eyes cannot see. Please accept this gift as, as thanks for helping me and helping the children of Winter Sun. A ward master's amulet. I wanted to tell you, our clan has started reviving its old crafts. We have goods to sell. Would you like to take a look? Yeah, why not? What do you got? Oh my, there's some really expensive things in here. Let's take a look here. We got the debilitator, a two-bladed sword, plus three. What's perfected maneuver? No. Bastard sword plus four is not bad. Pure savagery. Fatal beacon. It's a plus three holy great sword, and whenever it confirms a critical hit, the enemy loses the ability to make attacks of opportunity. If only we had somebody that used great swords. <laughs> Alright, well, let's leave. There might be demons to fight out here, but we'll take a look. And then I guess we have to go deal with the specters. That was originally on the roof. I do what I must. I'm not seeing any demons yet. Okay. Well, it would appear that the demons are not here, so we kind of wasted some spells. That being said, I think we're going to call the video here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, in the next video, uh, we're going to hunt down the specters for this particular playthrough. And then, uh, I guess once that's done, we're done in Winter Sun. Oh, that's not true. We have to kill this stupid tree that's impossible to kill. We'll come back to that at some point. I wonder if this person's still insane. I'm going to come up here really quickly. I mean, we admitted that we, we showed the truth, so maybe they're not insane anymore. Maybe they've recovered a little bit. That'd be kind of nice, right? Do something good for the world. All of our spells are starting to wear off. Although that aura of greater courage lasts for basically forever. Insane half-elf? Nope, you're just there, I guess. Okay. Well... Uh, where is the whip from? It's like a little valley thing. Like a little altar. Is it here? No, that's the shrine. That's it right there. Okay, so in the next video we'll start the specter annoyances. We have to kill one here, there'll be one up here. I think there's like six or seven you gotta kill in total, but for now we'll leave you guys here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.